Jada's my new special friend. We all so too. We do more than just talk. Hey, uh, hey man. <laughs> we wasn't expecting to be doing all of this. You know what I mean? It kind of just snuck up on us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and he takes really good care of me. Baby. Man, can you not call my mama that while you sitting in my house? Technically, it's my house. <laughs> <laughs> my new special friend. Welcome back to GMA. That was a clip from the hit drama series, The Shy. The show's received rave reviews for its depiction of life in Chicago and the black experience in America. And with us now is one of the greats. She's one of the show's stars and an Emmy-winning actress. Please welcome the legend, Lynn Whitfield. Hello. It is so good to see you. You oh, don't age at all. Good. <laughs> <laughs> she said good. First, congratulations. But yes. you can say Josephine Baker and say The Shy, and it just shows range. What was it about this role, Alicia, that said, you know what? I got to play that part. Well, she was edgy, you know, a sort of glamorous gangster who lives by the rules of the street. You know, retrib retribution is everything. And I said, you know, that kind of edge, I haven't played that, you know? I haven't been involved and dug into a woman quite like that, so I was very excited to, to explore. Mm -hmm. What about the dynamic with the cast? Because some of the younger cast members, obviously working with you is like a master class mm -hmm. in acting, but what did you learn from them? Well, they've been creating this world for six seasons. Right? Five seasons. Yeah. I mean, they grew up in these roles. So it was wonderful to learn the world of the shy um, through them. You know, the authenticity of what they built. <clears throat> so I merely fit in and then work directly with them and find the truth for this new character, you know, walking into the story. So it's been magnificent. You know, every role that you have played has left the audiences in awe. What's your advice to people when it comes to longevity in this business? Well, for myself, I, I can't, you know, it's hard to advise others, but I, I don't think that humanity is disposable. So I don't think that channeling and, and telling a story of a human being should be disposable. So I always try to do work that is memorable and will stand mm. the test of time. Uh, I mean, who wants to go through all that, getting up at three in the morning and all mm -hmm. that, and going uh, heels, stilettos, whatever, mm -hmm. uncomfortable. Look, That's what they and, do. And, 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 and have people right. forget. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right about that. You know that. what I'm you're saying? Right so I wanted it to be memorable because when I was a little girl in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I'd watch the, the million dollar movie with my grandmother, and it was always, you know, Betty Davis, fasten your seat belt, it's gonna be a, you know, or Audrey Hepburn doing something, or Marilyn Monroe. Say, God, they're just so great, and you remember them, and people quote their lines. Mm -hmm. I said, I wanna do work like that. Yeah, and you have. Well, you I have. don't know if it's like that, but at least you remember it. <laughs> yes, we do, and bravo to you. One more time for Lynn Whitfield, everybody. Yes. By the way, the season six finale of The Shy streams this Friday, June 28th on the Paramount Plus with Showtime Plan.